What up, my nerds? Little bit of a different video today. I'm not usually into the whole, let's just do a video telling you about a mod thing because it just, it feels really scummy to me. It's like one level further down in Scumsville than just like Bethesda kiss ass channels. But this is a mod I'm really excited about and I just want to make sure that everyone who is potentially interested in this sort of thing is aware of it because I actually didn't know about it. I, uh, I had a subscriber tell me that this thing was out. So a mad shout out. Now I always get, <laughs> get your name wrong, but I believe it's McDonald Scout. Uh, always, always hitting me up with the, with the useful mod recommendations. And this is absolutely a mod I have been waiting for, for, for quite a long time. So basically we'll get out of the, um, the no HUD mode here and I'll just bring up oh shit it's the pip pad yeah baby <laughs> so uh back in the new Vegas days I was all about that uh handheld pip boy uh mod thingamajig and I think I think back when I had the mod when I was playing Fallout New Vegas there was I think there was only one it was like the radius or radius however you pronounce it uh but it looks like there is a few now so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah, this is absolutely something I was hoping would come to Fallout 4 eventually. And, you know, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. So this is a PIP pad uh, 3500 or 3500, if you will. And apparently it is uh, actually law friendly because the Fallout universe does have uh, pads at some point. But, you know, I don't know a huge amount, you know, about that. Now, hang on. Is there a way to... There we go. All right. If you hold right click, you can look around it. I mean, it, it looks beautiful. It's very, very crisp, very nicely textured and whatnot. Like I know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> I think it looks really good. Um, and you know what? TVH, I, I actually prefer this to the New Vegas versions. I think it looks a little more appropriate. Yeah, it looks modern. Um, but not so modern that it's like out of place. It still has a little bit, a little bit rather of that clunky, uh, Pip Boy vibe, but it's of course a lot sleeker. And now of course this doesn't really do, it's just a visual change, but it's nice. It's, it's enough to make me, yes. All right. It feels less clunky. The Pip Boy is just a really clunky piece of technology and that's fine. That's what it's meant to be. Uh, but I like the change and I like that I can now have characters without a big fucking whopping computer, uh, hanging off my arm. That's, that's real nice. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, so I have looked into, you know, whether it's going to be ported to consoles, uh, for you. Cause I know someone's going to ask and it looks like the, uh, creator of the mod, the mod author, if you will, does have plans to port this mod over to xbox one once it is finished i believe it's currently in version 0.2 i think hang on let me just open up my my business here zero point yeah yeah i think that's the one yeah 0 0.2 so uh supposedly once it hits version one or, or thereabouts I, I think you just said when it's finished um yeah the mod author is looking into porting it over to Xbox One, but I haven't been able to find any reference to uh, intentions for porting it over to the PS4. So of course, guys, remember that it's perfectly okay to ask mod creators if they're going to port their their PC mods over to console, but but please remember to, remember to do it politely. <laughs> I see a lot of like, do it now sort of shit. And like, I understand you're excited, but a lot of work goes into this stuff. Um, and you just, just be polite, man. It's common sense. That's, <laughs> that's, all you, that's all you need to do. You catch, you catch more mod authors with honey than, than vinegar. But, uh, in any case, I put a link to the mod in the description of the video. Of course, now for me to artificially extend the video to 10 minutes so I can put another ad in. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look, really, there's really, there's really no more to show you. That's it. It's just a really cool mod. And I'm really excited that this is now available for, uh, Fallout 4. The, all right. Only other thing, it does come with a compatibility patch for the Pip-Boy flashlight, uh, mod, which makes the flashlight come out of your Pip-Boy and it makes it a lot more cool and immersive and atmospheric. And I, I love that mod, but 
doesn't seem to work 100% for me. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to work for you. Just for me, uh, what happened was every time I opened the Pip-Boy, the light would turn off. So it's just an, it's just an inconvenience. It doesn't like get rid of the functionality in, entirely. Uh, you've just got to turn the light off and then back on again. But I have uninstalled the Pip-Boy flashlight mod for that reason, just because I find it a little bit annoying. So otherwise... Um, you know, because there's no like visible pit boy anymore, anymore for the light to come out of. It just kind of comes out of your bod. So you can just role play that you're radioactive. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you next time.